everyone, here's a look at our Vintage Film LUTs, compatible with all video and photo editing software. Vintage Film LUTs is like having 20 film color lens filters in your camera bag for the price of one. From the natural to vibrant, you'll get warm, cool, and black and white film color effects. Each film LUT has a slightly different amount of tone, tint, and saturation, allowing you complete customization of the perfect film look. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these in Premiere Pro, along with a few other editing tips and tricks to make your digital video look exactly like film. Let's drop in. When you download and zip the pack, it's gonna come with 20 vintage film LUTs, .cube files, and a red halation action file. This is for Photoshop, and I did a separate tutorial on that, which you can check out. For applying these for video within Premiere Pro, let's go ahead and jump in. I got my video clips here got two different video clips and how you want to apply these and really create the best film look from your digital video footage is to go ahead and go to Lumetri Color. Drop that onto your video clip and go into the curves. What you want to do is create a very kind of flat image. Right now our video footage is pretty dark and so we want to brighten that up and kind of just flatten out the colors because film has a very flat look to it. And let's go ahead and do something like that. That looks pretty nice. And then we'll go ahead into the basic correction tab. And right here, input LUT, you're gonna click on that and browse. And then you can go to the folder where the LUTs are at and you can click on whatever LUT you want and click open. That will import it. As you can see, that's kind of the before and after. Really nice. It gives you a little bit more of like a warmer skin tone along with making the greens, browns, and blues. Some of those very natural colors. It makes them really just kind of pop. Go ahead and copy and paste that into our second clip by pressing Apple C and the Apple V. Easy enough. That way we get the same exact color grading on both clips. All right. From a base, that looks pretty nice. Next thing we're gonna do is add some red halation. If you don't know what red halation is, it's actually the subtle red glow around subjects and objects within the film stock. And the reason for this is because when light enters the camera's sensor, the RGB light spectrum, the reds are the last spectrum in front of the actual camera sensor. So that's why there's this subtle kind of red tint and hue around objects and subjects. And to recreate that look, go ahead and duplicate your clip by holding Alt and then just drag it up again. It will easily duplicate it. Now we're gonna go into our effects panel. We're gonna type in channel blur, drag that on your top one. And then into your red blurriness, let's crank this up anywhere between like 30 and 50. It really just depends on your video footage and how much of an effect you would like to have. And then let's change our blend mode to lighten. And what that's gonna do is just a really nice kind of soft red bloom around the subjects and objects in your frame. I'm gonna go ahead, duplicate that again for our next video clip, copy and paste the channel blur onto there and change the blend mode to lighten. That way we get the same exact look across both. Next, we're gonna use some premium assets from our store, from our film overlays pack, the Cinevision Vintage Film Effects. You can grab these assets along with many others directly in our free sample pack. So you can test these out, give them a go. And if you like them, you can upgrade to the full version of the pack. The next thing we'll add some 16 millimeter film grain on top, click on that and change the blending mode to anything in the overlay, either overlay, soft light, or hard light will usually look pretty nice. All right, so as you can see, we're getting a lot more of that grain and texture directly on the image. That's looking really good. I'll then add some film dirt on top of that. Just something, I'll add our uh, fine film dirt on top, just something nice and subtle. And again, we'll change that blending mode to screen. It's just gonna give you some really nice added speckles and texture directly on in the video clip. Then we'll go ahead and add a film burn as a means of a transition. Click on that. And I will change that to, and I will change the blending mode to say color dodge. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. All right, that looks really nice. And then go ahead and next we'll add some film letterboxes on top of the image. Drag that on top. 
And because these film letter boxes are 8K resolution, you just want to go to right click and set to frame size and that will scale it down to your composition size and then change your blending mode to multiply. That's looking really nice. Let's go ahead and lastly add in a few more film transitions to really just sell the look and make your video footage look exactly like film. We have a film artifacts pack which has some great film transitions on it and film leaders, uh, film countdowns, and some cine markers in there. Let's go ahead and add a few of those assets directly on top. I'll go ahead and add this film leader. Yep, like that. I usually like to add that at the front of the clip because it's just a nice transition into the actual film look. Change the blending mode to color dodge and I'll right click and set to frame size. Let's go ahead and just fix some of those. There we go. Beautiful, that's looking great. And I'll just go ahead and add a cine marker at add that at the very end of the clip. And right click, set frame size, and then change out the blend mode to color dodge. That's looking really nice. It does kind of brighten up the image when it's applied. So let's go ahead and add another Lumetri color directly onto the cine markers layer. And what I'll do is I'll just bring down, I'll use the curves and I'll just bring down the darks, the blacks, and that way it's more of a seamless transition. I'll bring up the, the lights a little bit more. Go ahead and render and see how that looks. And that's how you can really elevate your digital video footage and transform it, make it look exactly like film by adding in film grain, noise, film burns, transitions, some film mats on top of it, and really transform your video footage and make it look like film without having the added cost of shooting on it. So as always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. And we'll catch you on the next one.